Five of the best investments to make as a trader. If you do these five things, I can guarantee you, you will elevate yourself as a trader and as a person. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is something that a lot of you don't wanna even hear, but we're gonna talk about it because it's the truth. The mental game of trading, right? The problem as beginner traders, including myself when I first started out in trading as well, is you get into the cycle of doom, right? What you do, you focus on technical analysis and you think everything in the markets is technicals. So you focus heavily on developing that technical skill set, rightly so, right? But the problem is your mental game is at the beginning stages. You haven't focused on it, you haven't worked on it, therefore it's lagging behind. So your technicals can only get you so far. It's the mental game that can actually bring you up as a trader and as a person, because you have to become a certain person to be a consistently profitable trader. You, you have to learn to manage certain numbers on the screen as they're running, certain profits, certain losses. You have to go through this with experience, but without that experience, you're not gonna have any handle on how to manage your emotions, and that's really important. So the problem what tends to happen, right, is that let's say you go in a bad streak with your technicals, you think that it's your technical game that needs fixing. But the problem is, it's not always your technical game. Your technical game could be fine, but your mental game is lagging behind. So you think you need to focus on your technicals, but really you need to focus on your mental game. Here's a quick example. You could have been in the markets, let's say six, 12 months, and suddenly before you know it, you've gone on a period of six winning trades in a row. You've never experienced this before. This is quite a new emotion to have. You feel euphoric, you feel confident, you feel overconfident, slightly ego is creeping into your trading and your mindset, and all of a sudden you start to act a little bit differently. All these things can easily happen if you've never learned to manage your emotions and actually bring the awareness to what actually happens as well. So what you could actually do is start missing small details in the market. Let's say you've been diligent with your plan, fair play, right? But all these emotions start to take place and it's very easy for you to not pick up on uh, certain little things that you would have done with the same lens as before. So you could have had a checklist in your plan. You may be missing out on a few little small details, meaning that instead of taking high quality trades, you're now executing on average trades low par valid trades and all of a sudden what you find is that your results will just boom take control and it just you go from six winning trades to a period of seven losses in a row and you think what's gone wrong it must be my technicals no it's your mental game that needs fixing buy yourself a journal right it's going to cost you what 10 50 pounds on amazon it's not going to cost you a lot every time you take a trade or actually are managing a trade Jot down your honest emotions and your self-talk in this journal. Monitor how you're feeling, what things you're saying to yourself, what emotions are creeping in, how is your breathing, are you starting to breathe more shallow, are your palms becoming more sweaty, is your heart rate starting to rise? All these things, you really want to bring that awareness to that, because unless you have that awareness, you're oblivious to how you act in a time of a live trade, and that's really, really important. Another thing you want to do if you want to go a step further, set up a camera and film yourself when you take a live trade. Notice how you act, right? Do you start fiddling with pens? Do you start fiddling with your fingers, playing with your hair, playing with your ear? Do you simply just start doing laps around the room? What do you do when you take a trade? This is really important because you can get a gauge on how you're feeling in that moment based upon viewing that video in hindsight and looking back. It's just tape reading. So very important processes to do give it a go for yourself and let me know how you get on on to the second investment now which is going to be in your technical analysis now very important aspect of trading obviously like i said the mental game is highly important as well so don't disregard that at all but your technical ability is sometimes not what you think it is right so everyone seems to think there is a secret source a secret strategy and i've seen multiple different phases in people's mindsets and pendulum swings over the past six years I've even been caught in them myself before, so I've had to learn from that and mature in that. But what you find is that different strategies come and go, right? So you're gonna, things started off with like support and resistance, slash indicators, then to patterns, price action, smart money, people are now trading algo and all these kind of terms are being thrown around. There's always gonna be a new shiny ball, right? That people can chase, people can actually gravitate towards and actually learn. But the problem is you're always changing. Right? Imagine if you just actually executed three to five years into one style, learn to master that and become a master at your craft. Right? What I've had to really learn myself, it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. Stay in your own lane, 
execute and learn to master your own strategy and you will do far better than everyone else that keeps changing strategies and drops everything about what they previously learned from previous strategies. So really focus on that. And the key thing to know, yes, there will be certain strategies that are better than others, but what it tends to be is that the trader's ability to actually execute that strategy consistently. So if you can have a strategy that suits you well, suits you well, suits your personality, suits your lifestyle and what you want from trading, and you put systems in place to be able to execute that consistently, you will do very well in the markets if you put these steps in place. Something that's really important to mention here as well is do everything with scale in mind, right? So don't go and chase a strategy and think you're gonna trade it for six, 12 months. I see this a lot with the smart money space where people trading one pip stops and targeting 100 R trades and 200 R trades. In my personal opinion, you're not gonna be doing that at scale, right? You may be doing that on a thousand pound account, 10,000 pound account. As soon as you get up to six figures, seven figures, I personally believe you're not gonna be doing that. Because if you gotta think about it, if you're trading seven figures, you are much more happier to pay yourself consistently with three to ones, five to ones, maybe even higher than that. But you're focused on sticking to the system, paying yourself regularly. If I'm trading seven figures, I'm not gonna let a 20% trade pull back to break even, right? It's just, it's just not gonna happen. So why would you actually let that happen in real life as you're scaling up? You gotta do everything that you're doing now with scale in mind from a longevity standpoint. Next, your social circle. This is highly important. You want the correct people around you to support you on your mission, keep you accountable, give you a little push here and there, and actually just force you to level up. You don't need people around you who are toxic, bringing you down, start to become negative about what you do or the fact that you trade in the markets. You don't need any of that BS. You wanna focus on your own mission, stay in your own lane and have positive, uplifting people around you who have good intentions for you. That is so important and I appreciate it. It's not hard, it's not easy, I should say, to develop a social circle. People always ask me this, how did you develop a social circle when you started out in the markets? For me, it was more so reaching out to people on Instagram when I first started anyway and just connecting. Before you know it, you're going to meetups and on calls with these people. Before you know it, five years down the line, you're best friends with these people. So don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone and just reach out to people online, start to develop connections, get to know them. It could be a meetup going on, there could be a group that you can get into. Obviously, I have Envision. You're welcome to join Envision. There's a lot of uplifting and supportive people in there. It's also gonna push you, We're not gonna stand for any BS. We're just gonna push you to become better. All right, it's what it's all about. So whatever your way of actually networking with people is, I highly recommend getting a strong and uplifting support network for you as a trader. Because the truth is, trading can be very isolating. And I appreciate that everyone has to go through isolating periods within their journey. I think that's important too. And I've been through that myself multiple times. But also, sur surrounding yourself with the right people is highly important. And it will force you to level up. Right, this next area is gonna take a few people by surprise and I think it's such an important aspect to it because most people don't give it enough attention and needs. And this is health and fitness, right? And the reason being, trading, I like to think of it as a sport. Yes, it's not a physical sport, you're not doing laps of anything, but at the same time, it's a very cognitive game, it's a cognitive sport. So you wanna treat everything with that high performance mentality, right? So by you eating a bunch of processed foods and putting all this garbage into your body, which then leads to brain fog, mental fatigue, lack of energy, what good is that doing for you and your mind and your body, right? So put good foods and good drink into your body. Don't be drinking all these different things with sweeteners in, uh, tons of sugar. You're just gonna cause so much inflammation in your body and it's not gonna lead to any good performance at all. And I appreciate, yes, you could look at things and say, there's unhealthy people that trade, but do you really wanna be unhealthy and trade and not have a life and be able to do whatever you want and have ultimate health and freedom and fitness? Like, focus on becoming your best self in all areas. Screw just thinking about trading. Everything, become the best at everything you can do. Health, fitness, relationships, uh, just a family guy, <laughs> a family guy. A family man, um, just becoming better in everything you do. That's super, super important. So like, I don't touch any anything to do with sucralose, sweetness, uh, high fructose corn syrup, but I don't touch any of them because I know the impact it has on my mind and my body. Just be very careful and be very wary of what you put into your body because it will impact what you do and how you think. Focus on becoming the best version you can be. Go in the gym, go smash some weights, go develop a good physique 
go push your mind and body to that next level. Right, so in that process of developing the correct physique you want to, you will develop so much confidence with that as well. So get yourself, go work out, go push yourself, go train, and uh, you, will not, you will not regret it. Last, but certainly not least, is focus on becoming the best version of yourself. Right, so what good is it if you're the best trader in the world but you haven't mastered other areas of life? What good is it if you're not in the best shape of your life, if you're not confident, if you're not all these different things, if you just literally just trade the markets? What's the point? Yes, you might be a good trader, but you haven't developed your other aspects of life in accordance with your trading ability as well. Focus on becoming the best version of yourself. Super important. Get good sleep, good nutrition, get good people around you, good energy, a good environment a good mental thought process. All these things are very, very important, yet most people don't even think about them twice. So really pay attention and focus your energy on that. And just develop confidence. Trading, like I said, is a confidence game. Go and just take off all the goals you said you're gonna do. Confidence a lot of the time, and people get asked this question all the time, where does confidence actually come from in the markets? A lot of the time, it's just saying what you're going to do. Go and write some goals down on paper, and start taking them off consistently, start sticking to your word in multiple aspects of life, you will develop undeniable confidence, which will then leak into your trading. So how you do one thing is how you do everything. Remember that. So it's not just about trading the markets, it's about what you do outside the markets, which determines how you think, act, and your results as well. And overall, just develop yourself. Once again, back to the mental game of trading. Develop your self-worth, your self-image along the way. This is something that People struggle with a lot of times. I had to struggle with this. I had to go through these hurdles along the way. Go out, a quick tip for you, if you wanna develop your self-worth and your self-image, once a month or once a quarter, go to like a high-end restaurant in city center, and instead of buying that $4 coffee in Starbucks or Costa, go and sit in a restaurant. It's gonna be more expensive, I understand that. Pay for it, sit and observe how people act in the different environments. So people are gonna be very different in Starbucks to what people are gonna act different in the restaurant. There might be you know, people on a different level to you, much higher. You can observe these people, see how they act, see how they talk about themselves, other people. You start to notice certain things and just you by you being in that environment, you automatically give yourself a little boost and then you can take that away when you go back home because you've just experienced another level. So very important, give it a try. It's something that I've done for a while. There's a restaurant in Manchester called The Allen. It's like a restaurant slash hotel. And for, I think it's like 25 pound, 30 pound a day on weekdays, you can go in, you'll get, for that price, you'll get an entire menu to choose from. You'll get self-service, unlimited coffees, drinks, etc. The ability to work there all day if you want to. Just incredible service. And you will go and you will feel incredible coming away because you just experienced that next level of how you want your life to be so quick tip for you i've been doing it for a while i know a few people that have been doing it as well in their own way give it a go and let me know how you find that as well but overall i hope you've enjoyed today's video some really important points that we touched on here so give it a think and rewatch the video if you need to and execute on these things nothing's going to change unless you change yourself so have a good week in the markets and i'll speak to you all soon